Welcome to the Interaction Client Did You Know video series by CPI. Hi, this is Ruth Lockery. Today's edition of the Interaction Client Did You Know video series is coming to you from a remote location. Seriously, today we're going to talk about working remotely. Would your call center like to have agents who work from home? Do you have salespeople working in offices around the country? Have you ever had to stay home on a snowy day but needed to be available to customers on the phone? Do you ever leave your office to work with your customers? Then you are going to love the features we're going to show you today. There are several ways to use your interaction client to work remotely. You might use your status to direct your calls to another phone. You could log in to a remote number or workstation. And you can use tools like the Interaction Client Web Edition or other mobile client editions. We're going to focus on the statuses and the remote logins today. Let's start with how you'd use the status in your client. There are two of them that will direct your calls to another phone. The first is Available Forward. When your client is set to this status, all of your calls will be sent to the phone number that you designate and they're sent without any delay. When you select the status, you'll see the place where you designate the phone number where the call should be sent. Type in the number, click OK, and you're off to your remote location. One other thing you'll need to configure for Available Forward is in the Options menu. Click Configuration and then click Calls and notice the timeout for external calls setting. This is the number of seconds that the system will alert the forwarded number. You can control which voicemail system would take your caller's message by setting this value greater than or less than the amount of time your cell phone rings before going to voicemail. The other status to look at is Available Follow Me. Using this status in your client will result in an incoming call ringing first at your desk and then, if you don't answer, the system will attempt to locate you at the number or numbers you designate. You can even record a message telling the caller that the system is attempting to locate you while they hold on the line. Setting up Follow Me is really quite easy. Go to Options and Configuration in your client. Click on Follow Me. You'll see the chart where you set up the sequence of phone numbers for the system to try if you want it to call multiple numbers. You enter the number most people follow just to their cell phone. The timeout field here is very important. This is how long the system will try to reach each number. You may have to tweak this a few times. When you're following to a cell phone, different cell phone carriers can require different amounts of time to present the call to you. My recommendation is that you start with at least 30 seconds. Did you know that, if you'd like, the system can notify you who the call is from before you take it? You will need to check the Screen Calls box in the Configuration screen. Checking this box will have the system ask the caller to record their name before it passes the call through to you. If you want the system to follow to multiple phone numbers, you just keep adding them here in this box. One final note of caution, though. If you want the system to follow you to multiple numbers, remember that your caller is waiting while the system tries each of those phones. Be sure to consider that customer experience as you set this up. Let's move on. The second method we want to show you for working remotely is to log in to remote number or remote workstation. Of course, I have to start here by saying all of this setup is controlled by your system administrator. Be sure to check with them before trying any of this at your desk or in your remote igloo. Logging in to a remote number or remote workstation is much like the Available Forward status, but it's transparent to the caller. With Available Forward, the caller is notified by the system that you're working at a remote location. When you use this remote login feature, the caller is unaware that you are working in your igloo office. So let's say you've just fired up your laptop and you're looking at your client startup dialog. Select Remote Number or Remote Workstation from the Station Type drop-down. Enter the required information. For Remote Number, that means entering the phone number you want the system to send your calls to. Perhaps this is your home phone if you're working there on a snowy day. 
A remote workstation would be configured by your system administrator and is most commonly used by remote call center agents or permanent work at home staff. Now you're ready to click connect. Your client will load and your calls will be directed to the remote number. One other option to notice on this dialog is the persistent checkbox. This is most commonly used by a remote call center agent. If this box is checked, the system maintains an open connection to your home phone and all of your calls are then controlled through your client. If you need help setting this up for your call center agents, check with your system administrator. Finally, for those of you really on the go, Interactive Intelligence offers several mobile client options. If you'd like more information about these, please contact us. So there you go, several ways to work remotely without ever leaving your igloo. I've got to go now. There is some great ice fishing right outside my door. Thank you for watching. You can find more information and comment on this video at blog.comprod.com.